The word cabaret conjures up an image of a small, sometimes sleazy nightclub set in pre-war Berlin. Once the neon signs lit up and the stage spots came on, the clubs provided an evening's entertainment of song, dance and variety acts. The books of Christopher Isherwood, particularly Goodbye to Berlin, evoke the glamour and sleaze, excess and repression of Berlin society in the early 1930s. The book is set in and around German cabaret and was the basis, in fact, for the film Cabaret. But this is a form of entertainment that started much earlier. And its history is diverse. It was particularly strong during the 1920s and early 30s and while Berlin is usually regarded as the home of cabaret, the popular form was developed in Munich, being adapted from the French style popular in Paris at the turn of the century. It became Das Cabaret in German, and was actually one of the most subversive and sharp theatrical movements in the world. The classic film The Blue Angel with Marlene Dietrich gives us a sense of what Weimar era performances looked like. But more than this, the musical film Cabaret has given us a stylized but essentially accurate view of what cabaret entertainment was like in 1932 Berlin, and the many stage versions still being performed today retain that vision. On the other side of the world, cabaret also flourished, albeit in a more flamboyant style. Chicago is a story of murder, greed, corruption, violence, exploitation, adultery and treachery. All those things we hold near and dear to our hearts. It's the tale of the sensational murderous Velma Kelly, and in particular, Roxy Hart, recreated here in the style of the Berlin cabaret. But back in Germany by the late 1920s, the German cabaret, or cabaret, was already nearing the end of its heyday. With the rise of National Socialism, cabaret's days were numbered, and during the 1930s, many of its stars were arrested as subversives or fled abroad. As Germany started to recover after the war, the cabaret returned as entertainment for the masses, although it was always doomed to be a pale reflection of its glory days. But sometimes there's a dim echo of those glory days from across the years. Welcome, bienvenue, welcome. <laughs> 